from Kai. Dennis Chubanyuk is a cheerful five-year-old now, but just after he was born, people in his Russian hometown told his mother to bury him in the backyard. Doctors offered no hope. We didn't get the diagnosis until he was one year old. They kept saying that he had many different problems, but they could not diagnose his syndrome. He had trouble breathing through his nose, so his mom created this tube device to help keep his airway open at night. It was very difficult. Finally, a physician diagnosed Dennis with Apert syndrome. It's a genetic condition where the skull fuses prematurely and prevents the brain from growing. Fingers and toes are also often fused together. For a long time, we really didn't believe that Dennis was going to make it. It was really difficult for us. We had no hope or reassurance that he was going to live. A nonprofit organization connected the family with Beaumont Children's Hospital plastic surgeon Dr. Concrete Shiaset. Dr. Shiaset has helped patients with rare conditions from all over the world. We have technology, we have uh, ability to help the child. People throw a stone to them because he doesn't look like the other kids. So that uh, that's, uh, breaks my heart when we hear that. Dennis and his mother flew to Michigan for a surgery that changed and saved his life. We advanced the skull forward, we advanced the eye socket and the nose in one piece. So now his eye is better protected, he's breathing better, and there's more room for the brain. Dr. Jeff Fishman also separated Dennis's fused fingers and toes. I was very surprised that such a young boy could handle the surgery so well. He didn't cry, he didn't whine, he was really brave. Dennis now needs more surgeries to keep expanding his skull. This device connects to the little boy's head after surgery to move his face forward. Every time we turn the screw, the bone move millimeter. So this is very powerful to, to really achieve an advancement without relapse. Dr. Shea said he has golden hands. Yes, the surgeries are difficult. The devices are painful. But Dennis is alive and will play in plenty of backyards for years to come. He's a very curious little boy. He likes internet, cars, computers. He is a fast learner, and I believe his future is going to be very bright.